Okay, hello everyone. This is Mimi from Mimi's Crafty Shop, and I already filmed this once when I did it, but unfortunately, I was not in good frame. So, I'm just going to show you this and do some different ephemera. So, I have three different things that I use to make these. Um, this is the problem. I'm making sure I'm in frame. Um, I used a layaway ticket, a guest check, and this is one of those um, flashcards. The, this is the edition one, just the shorter version. Uh, so what I did was on this one, I just took different elements and put it on here. This is some Tim Holtz ephemera. And this is printed marketing, uh, this three-dimensional uh, butterfly. And did some eyelash trim, some lace, and then I, this is some flower cutouts that uh, the tattered flowers from uh, Tim Holtz, the Sizzix. And I just layered that on there and put a stamp on the back. I thought it turned out really cute. On the guest check, I took and this is a Tim Holtz again in the background. And these are Tim Holtz, um, see, you see these, these uh, butterfly wings. Well, I took and cut one in half. You get them, they come like in a whole little bag of them. You can get them some in different colors. In fact, here they are right here. I just love these. Here's the colored ones. And then here is the butterfly, uh, other winged ones that are the clear. So I cut it in half and put it behind these uh, Tim Holtz paper dolls and just glued on this little lace and stuff and sewed this little tab on at the top. So that turned out really cute, and I just love the way this one turned out too. And I just uh, did some collage podge, put this beautiful lady on there, and had some little uh, three dimension flowers that I glued on that my sister had given me. So anyway, let's get started. I want to show you this time card too. This time card here I did at my mom's house and just did stamping, some stenciling, and Mod Podge this um, beautiful napkin that she had. And I just love the way it turned out. So I want to do up a few more. So here is a uh, layaway ticket that I got from Dreams, uh, Tattered Dreams. And here is a guest check that I'm going to do up. And then on my uh, addition, my flashcard, I'm going to do a uh, Jane Austen theme. And on my time card, I'm going to do uh, some Mod Podge in with this. I've already stamped it and did, I've already done all my staining, uh, distress inking around everything just for time's sake. So let me get started and kind of get this set up and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Let me get my collage podge on here. And get to this napkins down on here. I love doing this. It's one of my favorite things to do. It's using napkins in my crafts. I think they're just really add a lot to it. It does make kind of a mess, but as you can see how pretty that looks on there. And see how that kind of comes through. I just love that. So what I'm going to do is let this one dry. And I usually stick it over here and let that one dry. And then I'm going to work on this one. It's kind of messy, but, you know, messy is part of crafting is the way I look at it. I'm sure there's a better way to do this, but I call myself the messy crafter. Because of either on me or it's on everything else. It's kind of 
kind of like painting nearly, you know. I just turn it over and glue that down. See, that'll make it really pretty on the front side too. So I kind of like to, when I do do these, I like to make sure and use them on both sides. This one here, I'm actually gonna stick this down here, I think. All right, I'll let this one dry too. See how pretty that looks though? Already. I think I need a little bit more glue right here though. I think I'll just wet it down a little bit more. Sometimes that's all it needs is a little bit more water. Okay, so let's put this one over here and then I can start on these other ones. I'm going to be doing. Oh. Okay, here's the guest check. I've got this really cute girl that I had put on uh, some paper, I mean some muslin, and I think I'm going to use this glue on this. put her down with because when you use fabric usually the fiber tack works better so I'm gonna take this little girl and put her down with fabric tack right there and bring this in a little bit I had such a cute um, such a good video a while ago, but because I was out of frame, I couldn't use it. So, so much for that idea. But I love the layering look. I just think it looks so cute. And not for sure about that, though. That I think I'll wait on that. So, I'm going to set this one to the side. And do this one up. This one's the one I'm using the Jane Austen theme because I've got a couple of different um, file folder journals I'm working on. So I think I'm gonna use this again. But I don't. This is just some digital paper here that I took and kind of tore into pieces because I used it on my file folders. So I said, you know, I'm going, going to um, use it. The rest, what I didn't use, I'll gonna use it on my, um, actually, I think I wanted to put this, oh no, I'm gonna use this one. Take time to smell the roses. You see how cute that turned out? Oh, I love it. When that dries, it'll be so pretty. And I'm gonna actually put um, Mr. Darcy on the back side. Let's see if I can get that on there. Maybe I can without messing up that side. I 
there you go. So I've got Jane on this side and Mr. Darcy on the other side. And I'm gonna let this one dry. And once it dries, you'll see just how really pretty it comes out. Get my glue mask cleaned up. And once that dries, I will be back and show you the finished product. We'll work on finishing it up. Okay, so I'm back and I'm going to finish this one up. I got it dried and it turned out really pretty. And I'm going to put these paper dolls, um, Tim Holtz paper dolls on there. And I'm just going to use some Fabri-Tac glue here. To glue them down. And I'll make sure I have a pop of that behind there. These are really cute girls, these two here. They're kind of the, I call them like 20s, maybe 30s even, how they're dressed. I love their dresses. And on the back side here where I put those little um, three leaves, I'm going to stick this rose down on here, and I'm going to use my hot glue gun so I can really push it down. Because I don't want it to stick up very much. And that just kind of makes it look like a, it was meant to go together. So that turned out really cute, and I can always add something there if I want, or just leave it plain. I haven't really decided yet exactly if I'm gonna put anything else with it. So I set that one over there. Um, this one turned out really cute. I went ahead and added the tab on the very end, um, sewed that on, and I think this one is good to go. I think it looks good. And this one here, I wanna finish up um, and put this on here. So let's just use the hot glue gun. And I think I'm gonna turn this away and have some pretty eyelash trim here. Hopefully everything won't stick to me, which is what usually happens because I never can find my little spatula that I use. It always seems to disappear in my mess around here. This is a really pretty flower here. I love this flower. And then I'm gonna put this down right here, this piece of lace, kind of at an angle. Thought it would be pretty. Kind of add a little something at the top. And then, if I can get this glue off my hands, I uh, had something else I was going to put on there. I don't remember what. Oh, this. This is really pretty, um, it's kind of like a, some. it's kind of a pink color, but it is this, I call them the garland of leaves, really, I guess. You can get it in practically every color, you, all the colors, you can get it in green, as a real pretty green one, or a multicolor bright color one. Uh, I think you can get it in off-white. And these, I think you can usually get them at Hobby Lobby, where I think I got this one for sure, I know. And I need something to wipe my hands with. Oh, where is my baby wipes? Baby wipes, baby wipes. 
what we do without the baby wipes. Here, we're gonna get baby wipes. All right, that turned out so pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that girl in there. She's just peeping through there. So I like the way that one turned out. And this one here, I'm thinking about putting this wood, um, it's kind of one of those wood uh, chipboard type thing. And I had thought about coloring the fairy, but I don't know if I'm going to or not. I can't decide. Let's see, I could color her wings. I think that might be kind of cute to do that. But I gotta get my paint out for that. Thank y'all so much for watching and I'm not for sure what I'm going to do with this one, so it may just get, you know, I've got that fairy stamped on there. I got some more sta fairy stamps, so I'm probably going to stamp a fairy right there. I don't like the, the wooded thing that I did. It just didn't turn out right, so. All right, thank y'all so much for watching, and I hope y'all enjoyed my ephemera.